<laughs> I think I'm not done with my dinner yet. Went for the free food. What's this, is this for the inner for Norwood's going away party? <laughs> Have you ever known anyone who's uh, joined a, a cult or anything like that, like a religious cult before? Um, sort of, sort of. Pretty much the whole world. My mother is a Baptist. All my friends are members of my cult. You know, I've, I've totally influenced their lives and messed them up. You know, so deep most trouble. of America is in, in a <laughs> cult called religion, and it should. Catholicism, Baptists, Christians, whatever. It's just it's just a bunch of crap. So I meant to say shit. So the next question it's was... It's clean version. What kind of kids or what kind of people do you think are drawn to cults then? I don't think necessarily kids are just drawn to cults. People are drawn to cults. It's, something's missing in their lives. They need some kind of fulfillment and guidance. And There just happens to be a, a really good businessman that comes along that provides those kind of guidelines or incentives or and a very good promises. salesman yeah salesman they sell you on it you swallow it and then you know there you go oh. it's the worst kind of sell too you know the hell and heaven and eternity you know it's like the great prize or the greatest <laughs> doom you know it's like what a horrible manipulation in my opinion well, is this something would you, would you guys do something like this Say if one of your band members or a friend or something like that, would you go up and try and kidnap or duct tape him to a van? <laughs> sure, I'd duct tape Adam to a van. <laughs> Adam. I, I would hope that any of my <laughs> friends would do the same thing for me, but you know, Adam I, I, would, it's a, would do it. Adam's on the edge of, as it is, being a being the king of lacrimology and everything. Yeah. He's got his own cult going. Okay, they got a, a question here. Did you hear about this kid in Texas? who got his uh, nose pierced over the holidays and then was sent home for distracting his classmates and now he's, the school is making him take classes separately from everybody else. For getting his nose pierced? Yeah. I wish that would have happened to me in like high school. Was it an aluminum <laughs> earring or I don't really something? like anybody in my high school. Was it aluminum? So. Was it gold? It may have something to do with it. <laughs> I didn't like anybody in my high school so it would have been much better that way. I would probably got more work done. I mean, there is evidence that Alzheimer's is caused by aluminum. It might be worried that the other kids are going to be exposed to the aluminum. And it's... Hey, there's aluminum in this can. Is there, is there anybody, what are you guys looking forward to? Is there anybody you guys want to see here or you haven't seen? Here? All of them. Can't wait to play with Martial Law is supposed to be pretty good. I haven't seen them yet. Or, uh, not Martial Law. What are they called now? Weapon of Choice. Yeah, it's all our buddies, you know. It's everybody that we toured with all summer, for the most part. So, yeah. Lonnie's one of the best There's, bass players in L.A. He's really, really good. Besides from me. <laughs> I mean, besides Paul. Uh, they got a, a question here. Did you hear that uh, the Senate Juvenile Justice Committee is going to hold hearings in February and uh, on violent gangster rap and heavy metal? You guys have any thoughts about that? Enough? Yeah, I think it's. I think it starts with baggy pants, and then it just goes from there. Before you know it, they're getting skate shoes. And yeah, it's just over the edge. I don't know. I don't know what to say. The wheels got smaller. I had to get out. Vert died. Vert's dead, man. Vert's dead, dude. What is the question what again? <laughs> hey, what about you guys? What do you guys got anything? What's coming up? Anything you guys going to tour anywhere? Or? We're just finishing up a video. Are you guys over over the video thing? Ah, uh, a little bit. Go ahead. Uh. <laughs> We're finishing up the video, and then we go out February second on the East Coast. Then and back that, to Europe, Europe, and then back to the States, and then back to Europe, then back to Europe, and then back to the States again. <laughs> and then a new record. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Prison yeah, sex. Prison sex. We, it's a. It's really about Norwood. <laughs> Why'd you guys pick Groundhog Day? <laughs> What's that? Why'd you guys pick Groundhog Day? Um, well, it has a lot to do with shadows. It was Groundhog Day? <laughs> Prison sex. Oh, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah. Shut up and 
go with it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're into shadows, man. It's, a, it's about darkness. Say that again. What's the name of it? Prison Sex. The prison song, sex. the single, Prison Sex. Yeah. All right, great. That's it? Yeah. Right. Hello. Hi, I'm in the band.